Today is a special day. Not only we have a new video for you, this one is gonna be salsa, but we also have a present for you, a Christmas present. On our website, salchatadojo.com, you can find a one-time deal available only for one week. You can have all the materials we have right now on our website with a special offer. Plus, the new materials that will be released next year just for you. Very important, this offer is available only this week and we have only 20 packages available. If you're asking yourself why we only give 20 packages, it's because we worked really hard on them, especially on the new ones, which are way better than the old ones. Of course, they are newer. And the real value of them, it's much, much higher. For that, you'll see on the website what's the original, let's say, value and what we're giving you on this offer. So be sure to check the link in the description and in the first comment and get your Christmas present. Hello, you crazy awesome dancer. In this video, you are going to learn, let's say five situations you will mostly find yourself in, in which you can use some hand throws, hand flicks. Of course, we'll give some variations, so there won't be only five, but here are five big situations. These are the first five easiest moves that you should learn. If we call them the easiest move, that doesn't mean that they are for beginners. We usually teach them to our students around after five or six months because they are not that easy. They are the easiest ones you begin with, but that should say something. All the other ones are way more complicated. That being said, let's start with number one. do the double hand throw here are some tips leaders I call this the sandwich technique the idea is to get from the bottom of the grip on top of the grip while you're let's say holding both points of contact this is important why if you don't do this and you're, if you're dancing let's say with a more beginner girl maybe uh, and for example you do your basic and you want to get on top and you do this and she gets her hand off and you're like in the air. To avoid this, what I like to use and I am recommending it to you is to use the index fingers, like go down and rotate your hand to get on top and then throw. I know this feels a little bit more complicated and it looks a little bit more complicated, but with practice, one, you will get your own way of changing the grips and two, you won't even feel it with practice when you do it because you go and I've changed and I go out. So it doesn't really matter. You can, you can also go not like this, but you can also go on top and change. That's why I'm saying you will find your own way because you only have to let her know. Okay, keep your hands here. Don't throw them. Don't get them out of the way because I want to get on top of the grip. I want to throw. So the idea is let her know what you want to do. And the second tip, how we throw, remember it's like she's a tennis, well not she's a tennis ball, but her hands are like tennis balls and you throw them and you release because when you throw a tennis ball, you go like here and you release. You're not going like, ah, ah. so don't do that with the girl's hands. Don't go like, uh, uh. okay, go here, tick and release. And that's it. Ladies, it's our job to go with our arm straight until up when the guy throws his our hands. For instance, here, if the guy throws my hands down, I won't stop here. I will go into that direction and continue with my arms until up. The techniques put together like basic two, three, here we go. Sandwich throw. And I go with the arms up. And then if I request them, five, six, seven. The last tip before moving on is we can throw on one or on five or whenever you want, it doesn't really matter because I can throw like here, one, two, three, and get them on five, or I can go one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. You can play with the timing. You can use this double hand throw in a variety of moves, such as, let's do from a basic step, one, two, three, five, six, seven, maybe do a hip turn, five, six, seven, basic two, three. You just put your hands on the hips and you do a right turn. Another example would be to make some space, you know, from maybe you wanna go in a cross body lead, for example, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. 
And another thing you could use this for, of course there are a lot, but another, let's say, more important one, more used, more common, is catching an accent on music. For example, I don't know, the song goes, sorry for my bad singing, like... That was like an accent, you know? Like the music stops, <laughs> like that. Ha! And ta -na 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 -na, and then you go back. So that's why I'm a dancer, because I cannot sing. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe, click the button, and enable all notifications. And also, here is the list of patrons that support us every month. One by one hand throw. Here are some tips. First, we have four variations, but they are actually like two on each side. So this one is the easiest one, throwing one hand, switching and requesting. The other set of two is throwing them one by one and requesting them fast. We'll get there in a second. But if you find yourself in the basic position, let's say you use the sw switch, the sandwich technique and get on top of the grip or there are some combinations in which you end up like this, yeah, with your thumb inside. The idea here is you throw one hand like the same when we were throwing both of them, you prepare, you throw the tennis ball, she goes up with the hand. But I am changing here, I am going into a handshake position and the reverse handshake position. So we're like handshaking at a conference. So of course we can do the other side, I throw this hand, Reverse handshake, handshake. Guys, for dancing, we don't go like this, yeah, in the handshake. We usually ask and get in the handshake position. I don't want to see you on the dance floor like this. <laughs> Keep that in mind. And for the more complex one, the idea is almost the same, but get this. We throw one hand, we throw the other hand, we request one hand and we request the other hand. For the leaders, the sequence of hands should be like this. I throw with one hand, I throw with the second hand. I ask with the second hand, I ask with the first hand. So it's like first, last, last, first, or one, two, two, one. This is for us. For the ladies, the order is the other way around. The first one that goes up is the first one that goes down. So showing you, it's my left, my right, my left, my right. For the ladies, it's simple, and I don't know why I haven't thought of this. It's left, right, left, right. For us, it's, for example, in this case, right, left, left, right. So that was simpler than one, two, two, one, or first and last. Well, what can you do? I'm Marius. Of course, we have the other way. So we throw this hand first, this one, this one, and this one. The idea here is you have two options. Throw one, switch, request, or throw, throw, request, request, and you can put them on the right side or on the left side. Leaders, it's really important, this is like an additional signal when you request the hand, be sure to, here it's not that hard because you only have one hand, yeah? But when you throw both of them, be sure to ask in the direction, like, you know, like diagonal, like here, yeah? Don't go um, like this. <laughs> so, throw, throw, ask, Ask, yeah, do a cross. Hey, Macarena, hi. For the one by one hand throws, we have four examples two and two. We grouped them together because you will see in a second the second group of two is the more complex version of the first two. We first teach like this throw one hand, hold the other one, switch the hand, and request. This is a little bit more easier regarding the coordination. And the second group of two is the one in which we go like really fast one throw, one catch, catch. It's a little bit more difficult. For example, what do we use this for? Let's go maybe uh, with the simple one first. Basic step I throw one hand, I switch, I get here, and maybe I go into a caressia, I request the hands. Or let's go the same like here, I can go in a copa, 
boom, uh, uh, here, and for example, I end up in the opposite uh, position with the hands and I can go in another move. So you see combining moves. Let's throw the other side. So we go like basic two, three, and I throw this one, I change here, and for example, I go in a wrap or in a head wrap, like ha. Boom, and here, tam, pam, 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 and I turn the girl, and I can go back in the neutral position. When we have different hands in crust, we have different opportunities. And the same thing goes for throwing them one by one really fast, the more complex way, going like one, two, three, five, six, seven, and I go in the exact same moves, for example, boom. So these four ways of doing are actually two, easier or more complex. Of course, they can be used in different situations, but you got the idea. So, just to finish this, remember, throw one hand, switch, catch, do the same in the other way, throw, switch, catch, or the one you will prefer later when you get more dexterity, more coordination, more salsa in your body, you go throw, throw, catch, catch. And of course, you have a lot of moves. Titanic, copa, hairbrushes, wraps, crossbody leads, whatever you want. The J flick. We call it the J flick because it's like we're doing a J figure or like, you know, spiraling out a little bit. The idea is I go with the hand like this and then I throw it. J or spiral, throw, however you want to see it. The idea is only for the hand. You see, I can also use the sandwich techniques for a little bit of better control, but if the girl is listening to me, I don't have to. Usually here, uh, the girls get the hand out of your hand. Yeah. So ladies, remember always we leave the grip. We let go of the grip, not you. But as an idea, guys, you could from time to time use the sandwich technique if you feel that the lady is a little bit uh, more beginner to say so and she gets out of the grip. So I do like the J and here is like I go a little bit on a diagonal but I'm not going with the normal hand and then throw. I go with the wrist and I've let go. So imagine it's like you're throwing cards like that at the end. So I do the J and I throw the cards. Yeah but uh, it's like it's not like this it's like this yeah, so I know it's weird, but I'm gonna stay like this. I'm gonna be here, just watch the hand is like this. And you see the wrist is coming into action and I'm not throwing that way because that would throw her shoulder. Instead, I let go here. Yeah, so that's the main idea. And for the basic, for example, I usually do it on one, two, three. It goes like one, two, three. And I request with the same hand on five, do different combos or the same J throw. One, two, three. I wait a little bit and go with the other grip. You ladies should continue the energy from the guy like this. So the guy is doing the J here and when he throws, all I have to do is go with my hands to the side, a little bit diagonal, rotate my forearm and my wrist and just finish the move. Also, you have to keep your arm straight. Don't go like halfway and remain here. From a basic step, one, two, three, I rotate and I finish. One more thing for you ladies, very important when the guy is throwing you a hand, be sure to look first who is behind you or if there is anyone behind you before, before going with your hand because otherwise you will poke his eyes. The J flick, we use it of course in all these examples like, you know, doing combinations, changing hands, doing cross body leagues, doing turns, so a few of them on counts. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, another one from this position, one, two, three, and I go in a semi-titanic, boom, pack, param, pam, pam, or one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and so on. You see, you have a bunch of moves you can, and of course, you can end up in doing, let's say, other combos requiring your 
two hands like this, boom, you see, I hold the hand, I go here, and I transition into something else, and blah, 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 and I can dance with this. So, the J flick, you use it to launch your combos, your turns, your crossbody leads, etc. We also have like a variation here, which, of course, can be used for almost the same things and some other things is the one in which we throw. I'm gonna show you from this position to three, and you see I end up in the wrist position. I catch the wrist. This is usually good for, you know, like your frisbees maybe, or your more powerful stuff, because you have more, more power here. From this position, one, two, three, and five. Yeah, and then I go in other combinations. It's really important here, the ladies to go like this, Elena will explain. Yeah, for the ladies it's very important to go with your left hand, in this case, forward, okay? If the guy th <laughs> throws my right hand, like here, don't stay with your left hand behind and go only with your body. It's very important to have your both hands open. <laughs> because otherwise that thing will happen, so le let's do it again. Otherwise this will happen. <laughs> chap throw or the karate throw or get out of the way hand throw we usually have also two mostly used variants now the normal grip which i go with the sandwich maybe and here on mostly on the wrist and throw it or in different combinations i go mostly towards the elbow boom because it's more accessible and like all throws we prepare the hand either here you see i get it up and i throw it what goes up must go down and of course it's like also that tennis ball technique i'm not leading it yeah i am throwing it and i promise the last tip is go from let's say a chop a position go with the back of your hand like you lead and then you ah you get out of the way that's why i call it the get out of the way i am not you can throw it like this also, but if you see it, let's do it a little bit more. <clears throat> you will see a little bit of inconvenience here. So now I just throw it like this. Yeah, that's it. But instead, if I go down and then I lead it that way, like, ah, you see, it's much more natural. So keep this in mind whenever you're doing it. Leaders, don't be forceful, don't go, ah, try to go a little, ah, get out of the way. Ladies, don't forget the same technique, go with your arms straight up. The idea here is also to launch all combinations possible, but also this one is, let's say, more, most commonly used to get some space for your cross body lead. So, for example, staying like this, I'm just going to throw the hand and you see, I create some space to go for that cross body lead combinations and so on. Now, you have a variety of ways of throwing the hands. Here, for example, I go one, two, three. I use the first technique in which I like sandwich the fingers and I go on top and I throw and maybe I catch or I go into that uh, crossbody lead, etc. The second way, I go one, two, three. For example, I let's do, I'm in the middle of a combo and her hand is here. I can go into that chop, like boom, bam. the hammerlock throw it's not difficult it's easy we throw the hand into well you've guessed it, the hammerlock position so i'm gonna stay like this to watch a little bit her hands better it's really important leaders so i go like in a let's say reverse j throw and i throw behind her back i do two things either i bend a little bit i shift my weight a little bit and like watch her hand <laughs> or I really go with the hand like down and throw it down here. Don't usually don't throw it from here if the girl is a little bit inexperienced because I can throw it and she can change the direction. So here and towards the back or here towards the back. Get out of the half position, yeah, her body position. 
And here are three steps to do this throw. Get it up, switch from upside to downside, yeah? So like this, you see? And I throw behind, and that's it. Of course, the same thing applies for the other hand. Go up, switch, throw. That's it. Of course, there are little details or more variations. For example, in this one, we will do uh, open break and I go back. But the idea is the same. I get the hand out of the way. I prepare it either up or to the side and I throw it. That's the idea. For us, for the followers here, it's very important to have our elbow a little bit relaxed and really wrap ourselves up. Don't stay here like half of, uh, at the half of my back. Just wrap yourself up in order for the guy to have access to the pulp. This way, ladies, we, you help us not bend over you to go for the hand or to look for it. In it might found, find <laughs> out something else. <laughs> yeah, with well, you don't want the leader to find something else. You want him to follow to. Ah, you got the idea. <laughs> One last tip. Usually, when the guy throws our arms to the back, I need to make a little bit of space here. So then, don't stay with your other arm like this because it will be for nothing. Okay. So either you raise your arm up or you keep it here in the normal position so the guy can have access to the other pot. The hammerlock throws are self-explanatory. We throw the hands, getting into a hammerlock. Of course, we have two hands, especially for the follower. We have two variations. The first one, I'm going to do the one facing you right now. It's like an open break, boom, and I throw it behind her back. And for example, I can do a turn. One more time, basic two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. And of course, I can combine it and complicate it and etc, 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 etc. We are launching different combinations. The second one is, let's say, the more easier one in which we maybe do like a left turn or, you know, it's the simple one. The idea is when you do a simple hammerlock. Yeah, you get her hand behind her back. But now we're just throwing. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and etc. Of course, different combinations. Always raise your hands, your arms up until up the la 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 la. And so it begins. <laughs> to avoid this, what we like this, keeping your big, thumb. your thumb in the grip and caressing the wrist. <laughs> Me no habla inglés. <laughs> but when you have both of them up, or like for the follower, uh, <laughs> can imagine yeah, like you're doing a J or more like uh, what's this? Spiral? Yeah. The J flick. Here are some details. We do it like we're... Uh, uh, <laughs> the J flick. For this, we call the J... F <laughs> the J flick. <laughs> Imagine you're drawing a J <laughs> with your hand. For the chop throw or the karate throw or just get out of the way hand throw, the idea is all of... Uh, <laughs> That's it for today. See you in the next video. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.